Mocha vs. Latte Some people have comfort food. Others have comfort coffee. Every now and then one just needs to curl up around a nice, rich, and creamy cup of cafe mocha or cafe latte. Even though these drinks may be enjoyable regardless, it does beg the question, what is the difference between these two coffee wonders? Please do not worry, we have a few handy answers for you. In this article, we will help you to understand more about mocha versus latte, its similarities and differences. What is cafe mocha? While many espresso-based beverage names come from Italian and can mean rather simple things like, double, the cafe mocha actually refers to the Arabica coffee beans mocha in Yemen was a hub of coffee trade and what is that originally made this drink. So special about the Arabica beans from mocha in Yemen is that they have a natural chocolatey flavor to them. Baristas decided to try and turbocharge the chocolatey flavor of the beans by adding more chocolate to the drink. But don't think this drink is just for dessert because it usually contains two shots of espresso, two ounces of hot chocolate, an ounce of steamed milk and a little extra foam to crown the top. The cafe mocha is a potent but delicious treat and that is for certain. What is a cafe latte? The cafe latte, a whole carousel of differing and alternative names that have developed from this drink's long history starting in the 17th century. The cafe latte is espresso and steamed milk, with a little extra foam on top. With, cafe, meaning, coffee, in Italian and, latte, meaning, milk. But the drink is much more than this. The tradition of adding milk to coffee has been practiced in European households for a long time, and in cafes, drinks like the French Café au lait, also meaning, coffee with milk, were also featured on menus. But the café latte as we know it today seems to have evolved and developed over time, at least in terms of its specific name. When it comes to café latte in the United States, there is also a bit of ambiguity. But some of the earliest evidence of café latte making landfall in America goes back to the 1950s when the Café Mediterranean in Berkeley, California introduced the café latte to the American coffee scene. By the 80s and 90s, the latte became a fixture of many cafés, especially those in Seattle during the second wave of coffee. Today, café latte is a common fixture of café menus and has lent itself to represent highbrow and educated culture for better or for worse in some circles. Nevertheless, café latte is prepared with espresso, steamed milk, and foam to be exact. Mocha vs. Latte Now, let's see how these two stack up. For those who have not had the pleasure of enjoying either drink, maybe you can parse out which one you'd rather order at the cafe next time based on our breakdown. Are you looking for something a bit lighter but no less tasty and rich? Then the cafe latte is your drink. Similarity. Both mocha and latte are espresso-based coffee. In other words, they cannot be made without an espresso shot. Steamed milk is another crucial ingredient for making these two coffees. Differences. Ingredient. Latte is made with espresso, steamed milk, while mocha is made with espresso, steamed milk and chocolate powder or chocolate syrup. Milk texture. Although both of them have steamed milk, the texture is different. For a latte, the milk is silkier with less foam, while for mocha, the milk is usually dry and more foam. Garnish. The barista usually garnishes with some chocolate powder or chocolate syrup on top. For a latte, it is usually served as it is. Sometimes, a barista with latte art skills can create a lovely picture just by using the milk jug. Final thought. The amazing world of espresso never ceases to amaze. Mocha vs. Latte, these two drinks are somewhat similar and yet slightly different as well. Remember, those winding down for the day may want to opt for that keen cafe latte, while the sweet tooths out there should keep their eyes peeled for that chocolatey cafe mocha.